we're going to jump over here to mainactivity.java. So in mainactivity.java, you have your package, which is your package name. You got your import, which is your import statements. If it's condensed down like this, where it's the three dots, and this little thing has a plus sign, if you click on that, then it'll expand it, and it'll show all the imports that you have in there. It's uh, called cold fo code folding. So if you click on it, it goes back up. Click on it, it goes down. Click on it, it goes up. Click on it, it goes down. It's a way to make it easier for you to see other code. So like if you didn't want to mess with one function, you could cold code fold it so that you didn't have to worry about it. So down here underneath set content view, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a button named button red equals and we're going to cast it into a button so the parenthesis with a button in that means you're going to force whatever you're pulling force the view you're pulling to be a button we're going to call a function called find view by id and then we're going to put r dot id dot button red so we're going to do the same thing for all three buttons red, blue, okay so several things are going on here so first, button is red, and it says cannot resolve symbol button. This is because at this current point in time, you don't have button imported. So it doesn't know what a button is right now. So we're going to add an import statement up top. And we're going to import android.widget.button. And as you can see, the red went away, and it now knows what a button is. So if we're looking at this onCreate method, super.onCreate, basically that is just how it calls its super class. So for now, don't worry too much about that. <clears throat> the set content view is what actually tells it to look at your activity main.xml. So set content view r. R is set aside as a special variable in Android programming as the resource. So the stuff that's in your resources R dot layout will pull your activity main. R dot ID pulls your IDs and even though you can't see your IDs right here it will pull your button red, button blue, button green. So basically think of it as resource dot ID and then what you named your IDs. So after the buttons we're gonna go down and here's where it gets a little funky. So we're going to do button red dot add on. Sorry, button red dot set on click listener. And we're going to make a new on click listener. So with the telesense on this right here where it's at, if we just hit enter, it'll finish the entire function for us. So we have parenthesis new view on click listener opening and closing parentheses a bracket then you have a function in the middle of it you have your closing bracket for that and then you have your closing parenthesis for the function call followed by a semicolon. So it looks really funky but it's how it's supposed to look. So then inside the onClick function, we're going to type v dot set background color color dot oops, color dot red. And then I'm just going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to change the button from the red button 
to the blue button. And we're going to tell it instead of color red, we want it to be color blue. <clears throat> and then the third button, we're going to change to button green. And we're going to change the color to green. So you see again, we have a red item right here. It says cannot resolve symbol, so we have to import color. So we're going to jump back up here. We're going to say import android.graphics, because color comes from graphics, color. And now we have imported the color. So when we look at these functions, we see that we're setting an on-click listener to this button. We're creating a new on-click listener, and then this is the function that this new on-click listener looks for. So after that, it says on-click view v. So view is the base class for pretty much any widget that you're putting on the screen. If you have a button, a radio box, a, I'm sorry, a radio button, combo box, they're all views and they all extend from the view class. So view is basically the parent of all these views. So the parent can access all of its children. Or the parent, <laughs> Inheritance gets a little funky. If you haven't done any inheritance before, it can be a little funky. Just think of it this way. The view, any everything is a view, and you can pass in things by the view. So every view has a background color. That's how come you can do view.setBackgroundColor. So a button is a view, a text view is a view, everything is a view for the most part. So we are using the generic V right here. So if this wasn't a button, if it was a text box or if it was anything, then that's what would be passed into the view. So V dot set background color. So this view we're setting the background color to color dot red. And color dot red is a variable that's inside the color class. Then we have button blue that's doing the same thing. It's just changing the color to blue. We got the green button is changing the color to green. So now that we have all that, we're going to save. And then we're going to run this and see if it works. Okay, here's our application. We have red button, the blue button, and the green button. So click on red, makes it go red. Click on blue, makes it go blue. Click on green, makes it go green. So now we have red, blue, and green. So now you actually have an app that does something if the user does some input.